Mississippi Bear Reviews, Milwaukee's Best Light. Milwaukee's Best Light is a generic brand beer that was bought by the Miller Company some 15, maybe even 20 years ago. It was originally not owned by Miller. This is another one of those small breweries that Miller took over. They took the beer. They obviously, they didn't like what, you know, what the beer was. So they took it, they reformulated it, and now it is known as, I don't know if I can get rid of the glare, there we go, Miller's Milwaukee's Best Light. All right. <clears throat> Like I said, this is a generic beer. It's pretty popular at gas stations and grocery stores. It says brewed for a crisp, full taste. Uh, you can always recognize Milwaukee's Best by the shield that it has on it. Uh, it's also known as the Beast. Milwaukee's Best Light is called the Light Beast or Beast Light. I've always called it the Watery Beast. It is kosher, being that it is a Miller product. Most all Miller products, if not all of them, are kosher. No additives, no preservatives, so, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> you can pick up a case of these for about $13.99. <coughs> Excuse me. Slight tip. Very aggressive pour. So let that settle down. That's a good looking head on there. Typical for American beers. And there we go. But you can see the head slowly going away. I've tried this beer in the past, and to be honest with you, I'm actually a big fan of it. If uh, if you wanted to go to um, you know a party or a bonfire, or barbecue or something, people would probably laugh at you for bringing the watery beast with you. But you know, you could slam an 18 pack of these. You know, you get to talking, beer start going fast. It's very consistent. It's very easy to drink. The drinkability is very high. It's very refreshing. If it's a hot day, it'd be great for that. But I'm going to try to keep an open mind the best that I can. I know that it's hard for us to do that sometimes because we like what we like. If we don't like it, we just don't like it. But doing these reviews, you've got to try and keep an open mind the best way that you can. That's what I'm going to try to do. You're going to let it calm down. It's got your typical frothy Miller head on it, which is just, you know, typical Miller products. A lot of people are not Miller fans. Uh, me personally, I, I like what Miller does. Miller has a reputation to uphold. And, you know, even if you don't like Miller, don't just rip on Miller. Miller is a very respectable company, have been for many years. So, I mean, there's no reason to pick on Miller and call it, you know, crap or, or whatever. So anyway, it's Miller time, all right? I'm gonna go with the smell test. Typical light beer, there's just, there's nothing there. Maybe the corn adjuncts. I'm definitely smelling corn just because it, it has that sweet, sweet taste to it. Smell to it, rather. Excuse me. All right. Nothing to the smell. You can smell the adjuncts. Um, you can see the color of it. Typical light beer. Lots of bubbles streaming up. Straw appearance almost clear. It's just, it's typical. It looks, I, I honestly think that if you were to take a Coors Light, a Bud Light, a Miller Light, and a Milwaukee's Best Light, light them all up, pour them, 
you would not be able to tell the difference by appearance. You just wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I really don't think that you'd be able to tell the difference by smell. I mean, you might be able to pick out the Bud Light <clears throat> and maybe the Coors Light from the Milwaukee and the Miller because the Milwaukee and the Miller are brewed with corn, whereas I know for a fact Bud Light is brewed with rice. Coors Light, I'm not sure. I've heard both. Believe it or not, Budweiser, many years back, told me over the phone. I used to call these uh, beer companies all the time, and they used to send me coupons and stuff. And they told me that Coors Light was corn brewed. I know for a fact that Coors Banquet is rice brewed, so that's why I'm not sure about that theory. Anyway, we'll go ahead and go with the taste test. Hmm. You know, it, it actually has, <clears throat> I don't want to say funny, I'm going to say odd. It actually has that odd aftertaste that Miller High Life has. Okay, you know how Miller High Life has that cooked vegetable smell? This has a cooked vegetable aftertaste. I mean, it's not a bad taste. I mean, there's nothing offensive about it. It's just, it's different. Um, nice lacing. Uh, mouth filled is, of course, light, watery, very refreshing. You can taste the clean water. You can taste the corn adjuncts. You can't pick up any hops. There's nothing really distinctive about it. <clears throat> Tastes a lot like uh, like Miller Lite, but not quite as carbonated as Miller Lite. As you can see, you have some bubble streaming up. Not as much as you would a Miller Lite. Miller Lite is extremely carbonated. If you watched my uh, special edition Miller Lite review, you could tell how carbonated that Miller Lite was. We're going to go and taste it one more time. Okay, it, it's like I said, it, it's just like, uh, it's no better and no worse than Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, any of your popular light beers, it's no better, it's no worse. Of course, again, I do think that Miller Light is the better out of all the light beers, but just slightly. I mean, if I gave all the light beers in the world a C, I'd give Miller Lite a C plus. But, I mean, you know, you're talking light beers here. You're not really supposed to be able to taste anything. It's supposed to be very light, very refreshing. That's what it is. It's no better. It's no worse. Don't be embarrassed to take this to a party. Don't be embarrassed to buy this, drink this. If you're going to drink beer, drink for the price. Be smart. It's not... It's no better and it's no worse, all right? I give it a C. It's average, it's par, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing offensive, it's just a beer. If you offered this to me, yeah, I'd drink it. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I'd buy it again. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Later, guys.